So after a hard day of climbing up to Upper Boy Scout Lake, it's time to relax the feet and take a dip. Oh, it's cold. It feels great. You gotta do it. <laughs> then, if you're lucky, they might even be trout for dinner. We like to provide good food on the trips, keep everybody happy and fueled. The Zerich specialty pasta, fresh tomatoes, fresh parmesan. So we have dinner, then we get together and discuss plans for tomorrow. There'll be a pot of hot water out here, and there'll either be some type of cereal and milk. Um, just come on out, get breakfast, and uh, we'll head out. Then, it's time to enjoy the evening, those things you don't get to do at home, of watching the sun go down, the moon come up, and then it's bed. Then, all too soon it's morning. The sun's coming up, time to have breakfast, pull on the boots, and hit the trail. We like to get going about an hour before sunrise. That way, we get up to a great vantage point to look at the east face of Whitney, Keela Needle, Day Needle, just as the sun's hitting them. We keep working our way towards Whitney, crossing through moraines, talus, across rock slabs. The final climb to Iceberg Lake is short, but steep. And then finally, we arrive at Iceberg Lake, time to pull on helmets, harnesses, and get ready for the real climbing. Above Iceberg Lake, things start out gradually. We work up ever steepening talus, then into a rock, gully where we use our hands, our feet for upwards progress. Not too hard, we often don't use a rope here, but we can if needed. Then a traverse takes us into the main mountaineer's gully. Wherever we can, we try and stay on the bedrock. It's much better footing than the loose talus, and much easier, much less effort. At this point, you're up at about 13,000 feet, starting to feel the elevation. The upper part of the Mountaineer's Gully was a little bit of loose talus, kind of awkward footing, sliding a little bit. Careful footwork is the key here, not to burn too much energy. But before long, we top out at the notch, beautiful views over the south face of Mount Russell. Above the notch, we have the option of going straight up on third class terrain. This is the most direct way up and down. Other years, however, we'll take the traverse route. This route is only but good when there's no snow. When there's snow on it, it becomes a lot more difficult to manage the risk, and the straight-up option is by far the best. Late season, we'll often use this route. Early season, the direct. The traverse is fairly straightforward, big blocks, talus, and pretty good footing on most of it. One pull, and we're up on the final summit plateau. Here we join the main trail coming up from the portal and also the High Sierra Trail coming in from the west. The main trail is what John Muir referred to as a route for soft, succulent people, but by now you're probably feeling anything other than soft and succulent. But finally, it's the high point of the lower 48 states. All right, congratulations! Yes! Then it's time to retrace our steps back to Upper Boy Scout Lake and then with thoughts of the portal store and the best burgers and fries on the east side.